It's been almost a year since I was last at Cycle Ranch. Cycle Ranch did their fundraiser opening. I came out and I filmed that because people said it is the mecca of motocross in Texas. It's one of the best tracks around. You have to check it out. So I went and I checked it out and I did a review video of that. The owner contacted me and said, I want to talk about some of the things that you mentioned and I want to fix what's on this property. I want to make this the best motocross facility in Texas. What can we do about it? So we're back out here today. We're back to check it out. We're going to ride all the tracks, the new tracks, the main track, as many as we can. And we're going to get some footage of it. Stick around and I'll let you know what we think. So one of the things I said in my first video was that there was no signage and I didn't know where to go. They've now fixed that to an extent. There are signs that say which direction to go to get to each track, but the tracks themselves aren't labeled. So once you get to the track, you kind of have to know where you're going and where the entrances are. The exits are marked, but the entrances are not marked. So that does make it kind of hard. Plus track direction. Uh, track direction is important. Obviously, anywhere you go, you want to know what direction the track is going in. There have been two instances today where I've had to stop people and have them turn around because they're going the wrong direction. So it's awesome to see that they've done this. I think there's still a little bit of a room for improvement on that because of how many tracks there are. The map, if you, when you first get here, there is a map at the check-in booth. I think they have paper copies too, so you can ask for a map of the facility. That'll help. That'll help quite a bit. But if you're new here, please ask, which direction does the track go in? That way you can be safe for everybody. The main track out at Cycle Ranch is amazing. I, I really do enjoy it. I love it a lot. The dirt is so nice. It holds moisture well. It's tacky, it holds grip. It's not super sandy or soft where you're gonna be washing out in the turns. It's good for two strokes, good for four strokes. And I initially said in my first video that it was not for beginners and not for vets. It was too intimidating. I was sick that day, so I might chalk it up to that, but I feel much more comfortable on the new layout than I did previously. Uh, I think they might have tamed down the jumps a little bit, and it's just, it's very rideable, and it's awesome. Highly recommended.
rode the night track for the first time. This track was not open the last time I was here. They put in a lot of work. They do prep this track very regularly. Check their social media linked below to see when they're grooming it. Awesome track. I like it. It's not a super short track. It's not as super crossy as I would have thought. It is just a tighter track than their main track. Minimal elevation change, but there are some decent sized jumps that get you some pop. Uh, it is not exactly meant for beginners, but a novice rider could ride this track. They can roll everything. It's safe. It's not super rutted. It's not super soft. It's a good track. I'd call it more like a an intermediate introductory track to the main track. So this is a good middle spot to be. In the first video that I did, when they did the fundraiser opening, they didn't have all these tracks open. The night track wasn't open, the vet track wasn't open, the beginner track wasn't open, it was just primarily the main track. So I wanted to go hit that vet track first because one of the things that I said in the first video, linked above, was that the main track was a bit intimidating to a vet rider. So I wanted to go check that out. I did four laps or so out on the vet track. It's a cool track. Um, it's, it's a really soft track right now, but there was some rain yesterday, so that probably contributed to it. But the track itself has a really good line to it. It blends a turn track with a motocross track. There are some jumps, there's a double, couple doubles, mainly tabletops, um, but big bowl turns. It's a soft, sandy track, so great workout. And it's something that is just fun to go warm up on, for sure. beginner track is a great track for somebody who is on uh, 50, 65, 85, 110, the, the smaller wheeled beginner bikes, or if somebody's new to a clutch. They could even take a bigger bike out here just to get the feel of turns with the clutch. Uh, it's a very smooth track. There are no real jumps. There's a couple that if you're going fast could get you off the ground, but it is a great place to get started. Uh, if 
your child or your beginner is a little too intimidated by the hill, there is a hill in this track. So if they are scared off by that, there's a flat turn track in the back of the property that I, I didn't get any footage of, but that is a great place for somebody who really wants to just get started without any obstacles, without any severe turns or hills. It's just a flat track. You can see the starting gate behind me. Uh, in the first video, this starting gate was unused. It was just covered in grass. Now, this looks like an actual racetrack. They will be hosting a race here this coming weekend. I don't know if I'll get the video out in time, but they will be racing here on a regular basis. So if you're in Texas and you're racing, hopefully you can make it out to Cycle Ranch. It's an awesome facility. Uh, lots of space for parking, for campers. They've got RV hookups. They've got bathrooms with showers. There's a cafe now that has burgers. Uh, smoothies and a few other things. You could come here and spend a weekend easily and just have a blast the whole weekend.